Hi, this is Dr. Gary. Welcome to my weekly tune-up this week. Let's talk a little bit about creating in our life. You know, the act of actually creating something that you want or creating something coming into your life that you desire or dream about. Many people call this manifesting. It's really the act of creating. We create music, we create houses, we build things, design things, crafts, arts. That's all manifesting. How does that come about? It's really in the way we focus on things, and I'm not going to tell you that I'm an expert at it. However, I've had to learn how to do that myself, and earlier on in my life, I would want things, but I just didn't know how to bring them about. I had huge dreams, just like you do, and some things would happen and some things wouldn't, and I just thought it was luck. Manifesting is not luck, and a lot of people, a lot of the people out there that are negative and focus on none of this stuff working, really create none of it working because they're focusing on how it can't. What I want you to do today is hear what I'm going to say and understand I'm going to share some ideas with you that are not original ideas. In fact, they're really kind of proven out by people a lot smarter than me. But the point of it is, if you want to manifest something in your life, like I do right now, I have some big things I'm still working on, wanting to do before I leave this planet. The way you do that is, first of all, understand there's some principles that drive that. And also understand one primary principle, that is, every thought you have is a manifestation. You become what your last most dominant thought is. That's the direction you're going. So think about the way you think about things. And most of all, listen to the way you talk about things inside your own head. That's the big deal. That's where the rubber meets the road. What you think about, you bring about. I know we've heard that cute little line a lot. And also, what you resist will persist. So if you resist focusing on the ability you have to be rich or make money or have something you want or do the things you want to do, that will persist because you're focusing that energy on the polarity of what you don't want. Think of it this way. If you think about something that you want and you can feel good about it, if you can actually feel what it would be like to be able to do that, think about that feeling and how can you hold on to that feeling. And many times we can just anchor that feeling to us by simply getting in the peak of it. I call it the top of the bell curve and then just anchor like with a fingertip. And every time you touch that fingertip, you kind of pop back into that thought. And if you get the top of the bell curve where it's very big feeling, you feel it a lot, that's when you want to do it, just for a second. And that will reassociate you into that good feeling. Learn how to do that first. Then think about something that you really want. And here's the key to it. Many things, many people just think it's about what you want, but it's not, it's more than that. It's about think about the things that you want, but how's it going to help everyone else too? You see, it's got to be a win-win for everyone. You just can't become rich because you want to be rich and have fancy cars and a yacht. What are you going to do with that yacht? Are you going to share it with people? Are you going to do something with it that's positive and good? What about that car? Now we can have a new car and it can be good for everyone. Now think through it. Get your energy around, wow, if I had a new car, I can be at work on time. I'm going to feel good about myself, which I'm going to have more positive energy and other people it will reflect on them and probably make them feel good too. If I had a new home, I would have room enough for all of our kids and have a nice kitchen I could cook a good meal in. It's going to make the family happier. I could have people over and inspire and motivate them to do the same thing. That's the kind of stuff I'm talking about. So if you want something and you want to manifest something, even money, think about what are you going to do with it? Is it just so you can have money? Or is it so you can become more productive, healthier, take better care of yourself, take better care of your family, and inspire and motivate people in a very positive way? Remember, manifesting is not luck. It's actually the law of science, the law of attraction, the law of right thinking. Meaning that in order for you to have what you want, you have to first think about what you want and it has to make you feel good and it has to be doable and achievable by you. You can't rely on magic or somebody else out there or luck or something happening so you can have it. You gotta be able to do it. It's gotta be believable and achievable by you. Now, I want some big things in my life and it's not gonna be all done by me. However, I can see how I can inspire people to help create that and then give them jobs and give them a purpose in life and their purpose is going to be helping many other people get a purpose in life. So it's going to take a lot of money to do it. 
However, that's the energy I'm putting out there. And it feels good because I know when I leave this plane, I've accomplished something that matters to many, many people. That's how I want you to think about stuff. No matter what you want in your life, even if it's right down to a wedding ring and having somebody ask you to marry them, how's that good for the world? How's that going to help other people? Think about how you can correlate those things together and you're gonna find yourself manifesting and pulling and attracting those things to your life because it's a good thing. It's all about energy. And what is energy? It's created by our thoughts. And it's just like we're little broadcast transmitters out there and we're putting out a bad vibe or a good vibe. You decide what kind of vibe you wanna put out because remember, you become who you think about the most and what you think about the most. You also are always heading in the direction of your last most dominant thought. And a dominant thought is that thought that has a lot of energy behind it, either bad or good. And also remember, everything you say, especially to yourself, is the headwaters, the tip of the arrow to manifesting something. The more negative you are, the more negative your life's gonna be, and you're gonna think everyone's against you. The more positive you are, the more you focus on love, and put love as the primary thing that drives everything you do, you're gonna find you're gonna receive a lot of it too. Let's work on that this week. I know all of you have dreams, I do. I'm not done yet. Let's work on them, but let's work on them the correct way by giving ourselves permission to have them and also connecting the dots on how is this gonna help the world if I achieve this. And you'll be surprised what even this week can start bringing to you. Until next time, this is Dr. Gary. Thank you for all your emails, and I appreciate each one of you watching. Pass it on, and until next time, you have a great week. Bye-bye.